Yo, what's good guys, this is Nightwing2303 and today I got a really cool pickup, or it's not a pickup, they were actually gifted thanks to Under Armour. And this is the Curry One Low Lux, I think. Curry One Low Lux, yeah. Curry One Low Lux. Now, full disclosure, when I first saw the Curry Lux line, didn't like it. This is just in pictures. I received the pair that was like an off-white and gum bottoms. Don't know where they are. I think they're over there, but I'm not sure. In the middle of moving, sorry. And I absolutely fell in love with the shoe because it's a new looking shoe. It's a Curry model on top of that, and they were built the old fashioned way out of real materials. And in that video for that shoe, I had talked about the low tops that were, you know, uh, available at that time they were all like one tone color it was like an oatmeal or something like that and again in pictures those looked awful not even joking dude whoever took the pictures for them shame on you because those looked those looked really bad and i saw those during my first trip to atlanta and i was like whoa those are sexy dude like that is one hell of a like nice looking sneaker i wanted to pick them up when i saw them but i did not have any room in my bag and i do not like to check bags because of bad experiences so i was gonna wait until i got home and grab them and then lo and behold when i got home they were not no longer available so miss out but under armor came through in the clutch sent me these guys i don't like this colorway more than the oatmeal looking colorway but I do like this colorway quite a bit. Now again, like I was saying before, these are a new style performance basketball shoe, but they're done in the old fashioned way, so they actually have raw materials on them. You got real legit suede, the interior is leather lined, really nicely padded tongue, the branding is kind of subtle, it's in engraved on the side panels, you got the SC30 logo on the heel counter, gradient midsole with splatter print, and you guys know how much I like my splatter print, I absolutely love it. Now can you play ball on these? I'm pretty sure you can, like I said, they're done the old fashioned way, however, just Keep in mind that the interior is lined with leather, not the insole, just the inside. So make sure that you wear proper socks, especially well cushioned ones on these lows because this part right here will probably dig into your ankle a little bit, whereas the highs probably won't do that. These guys also have a charged midsole along with a Micro G insole, which is awesome. So they got plenty of comfort in there. Then you got that white on white outsole with full length Harry bone. So you know that if you wear these on or off court, you're not gonna be slipping and sliding. And that is pretty much it. They're pretty basic. It's just black and white with some speckles can't go wrong. As far as their fit, they do fit true to size. I apologize for not getting any on foot shots, but stay tuned to my Instagram. When I finally do break these out off court, I will take pictures. Now, I don't actually know if this colorway is going to be releasing. They didn't send any information as far as release information. How many times did I say information right there? At least three times. But if I do see these available anytime soon, I will post on weartesters.com. So make sure that you stay tuned to Wear Testers for all of your sneaker news. And make sure that you check the end of this video out because we do have a brand new channel, Wear Testers. Go check it out. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Let me know what you guys think about these guys right here. Actually, I, I already know what you guys think. I can, I can hear the L's being typed right now. But I actually like them. If you like something different, let me know. So until next time, guys, have a good one. What's going on guys? It's Darren from wetesters.com and Nike gives their auto lacing sneaker the Hyper Adapt 1.0 in official release date, but with a caveat. Starting on November 28th, the self lacing sneaker from Nike that is definitely marked. <laughs> I took three shots, I was one for three. In practice, I was doing awesome. Definitely clear in my